Okay. <laughs> Hi, if you're interested in uh, medical sciences, maybe you should consider taking a career in the, as being a medical scientist. You get to explore and research humans and animals and find cures for diseases. Uh, all you need is a bachelor's degree to get started. Obviously for more pay, you should work towards a master's or a doctorate. But uh, average, they make $93,000 a year and uh, there are about 100 jobs need. Uh, new jobs every year so it's a good time to uh, get started if you're not interested in being a medical scientist maybe you'd be more interested in being a biomedical engineer hi i'm a biomedical biomedical engineer what i do every day is to design and develop equipment for medical uses and i also design a computer hardware or software for a biomedical purposes okay. if you're interested in my job all you need is to have a bachelor degree um, the average salary salary is 79k, but if you go beyond, uh, go for a master or doctorate degree, it can go beyond 100k every year. Um, if you're not interested in my job, maybe you should look for a pharmacist. Hi, I'm a pharmacist. As a pharmacist, I dispense drugs and medication prescribed by physicians and health practitioners. You'll need at least a bachelor's degree, but it's better if you have a master's or a doctorate. My average salary is 140k, and employment pharmacist is projected to grow by 6% in 10 years. But maybe you want to be a nurse informatics specialist instead. Hi, I'm an informatics nurse specialist, and the daily task is use uh, technology to improve the nursing service, and uh, you need to have a balances of science in nurse degree and you need to take four years to finish this com uh, course uh, this class and the uh, average uh, average salary is eighty five thousand and forty uh, four hundred and the job outlook in two thousand twenty six uh, there will grow uh, 18% and the skill you need, you need to have strong communication skills and probably so slowing. That's, that's it. Thank you.